Hey guys, Whipchip here. Today I have a review of another Nexonite set. This set is 703220 Aaron Fox's Aaron Bow Striker V2. This set is really cool, and where it gets the V2 name from is that small little crossbow on the four tracks. First, we'll look at the minifigures. One other thing to mention is that this set originally retailed for $30. But knowing that, let's look at these figures. So first is Aaron Fox. This guy came in a wide variety of sets across the first wave, so he's not really special to get here, but of course is needed for the set because, you know, it's Aaron Fox's bow striker. I like this visor piece, which has like this little antenna in the back, and you can just lift that up. The helmet in green is actually pretty rare, so that's pretty cool to get. His head is double-sided, and you can see sort of like a scratch in the eyebrow, and then this more chipper face. His armor in the set actually has an arrow on the back, whereas most of Aaron's designs from the first wave had like a clip to attach the extra bolt from his crossbow. Now, his crossbow in this set is pretty weird looking, if I want to be honest. It's got some... They use like these zipline pieces, sorry, and... That actually creates a pretty good look, but at the same time, it looks a little bland, if you ask me. But it looks really cool, and I sort of can see a string going through those holes. You can also just fire it, just like a stud shooter, and the little bolt comes out, just like a regular stud shooter. His torso and legs look really nice. They use some metallic silver for his arms, which looks really nice, and they use green for his hands, which I also like a lot. His shield print in the set looks like some sort of acid rain, which is exclusive, as well as... One second, where did I set it? This, like, target practice shield, which also, funny enough, comes in Ultimate Aaron, which is pretty cool. The next thing we'll take a look at, I was about to say minifigure, but it's a little Squire Bot, is Aaron Squire Bot, or I think it's just Aaron Bot. So I really like this little Squire Bot guy. These are so cute, and I think they're really cool. They were overused in the show, but in the sets they were really cute. You can sort of see this one just has a sword, which is pretty nice. And if you don't know how these guys work, these are rubber pieces that attach to this little uh, this the piece that has clips for the legs as well as a clip for the chest symbol, which that is a print, but that print also comes in a couple of other sets, all being Aaron Bot. This arm piece in green is really nice and only comes in a book set besides this. His face, you can just see he's got some teeth showing on this expression, as well as just more of a silent face on the other. This is the last minifigure we'll take a look at in this set, which is this Ash Attacker but with wings. This guy is super cool, and it's a little disappointing that we only got one with wings in the set, because this guy just looks so cool. It worked on Laveria, Ultimate Laveria, and it works on this guy too. He just uses the standard Ash Attacker helmet, which if you don't know how that works, you just got some tooth pieces inserted into like this really cool rock-like design. And then he's got two faces. He's got one that looks very angry, and then one that's a little more calm, but still... Like, looks like it's ra about to prounce or something. I love the wings. Those look so good. And then I'm not going to remove the back printing because I've already done that in my Fortrex review. But I really like the printing for his armor and legs. He also has a crossbow in the set, which is really cool because it's one of those crossbows that actually fires something. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, these guys were actually seen in the finale episodes of season one so they're pretty so they are in the show but they weren't they didn't have a big role of them but they are cooler to me than regular ash attackers this guy's sweet so here is aaron's bow striker all built up this thing is really cool but the coolest part of it is the play feature and how you access the play feature is in the back there's some technic beams right here which you can hold and it turns into a real crossbow. So how the play feature works is that, let me turn it upside down, you can see that there is some Technic beams, and you're supposed to load the front with some of those spring-loaded shooters. And with the bow, you can shoot some unexpecting Ninjago fans. Wait, what? Die, you scum! And when they're all loaded in, all those Technic beams work to create... A really cool blaster. 
So that is the main play feature of the set, which I think is really cool. The way they use it, the way they operate it, is that once the first bolt is shot out, the rubber piece right here will go down to the second one, and it will just look, it works really, really well. I have never had it jam or anything like that, so it's really good. And you have a spare on the other side. On the other side of the spare, there's a shield, that's where you clip a shield, there's some clips there, as well as, again, the clips to hold the spare shooter. So going on to the vehicle itself, on the left side of the wing, you can just see that they've got some nice trans beams which use lightsaber handles as well as a sticker for Aaron Fox's symbol. You got stickers on each side of the front right here and here. There's also a sticker on this Nexo shield and that's pretty cool to see. They also use this piece which is really, oops sorry, you're not actually able to see it, but they use this piece which again came out in Next Nights, which is just a piece that is used to this day that not many people know is from Next Nights. Moving up, there's some cannons right here, which look really cool. They've got some of those pyramid pieces on the top. So, you know, maybe that's where the bullets are actually supposed to be coming out of, like right here. On this side, there's actually this really cool little gun or turret or something. Sorry about that. And it's really cool because it can go up and down and, like, turn left and right. And I really like that because let's say you have your ash attacker, like, coming behind you. Your missiles aren't going to actually be able to hit him. So you just turn it. And blast them away and I really like that on the other side there's also this little hollow stud like dish where you can attach his crossbow which looks really cool moving forward you can also see that there's this cool trans orange windscreen and then a seat to fit Aaron which even can fit with that extra bolt taking him out though it's a little disappointing that there's no sticker on the little trans orange neon orange windscreen because later on they do end up start putting stickers on them but there's a little button right there to, I guess, fire off both missiles or maybe you press it once and the first one goes and the second one goes or, you know, whatever. Then moving backwards, you can also just see the little Squirebots seat. They use this another sticker and then he just attaches with some sideways brick bricking right there, which I really like. On the, le on the right side of the wing, you can just see another sticker and then some more beams. And both of those wings have cl uh, these chains in neon orange which just looks so cool and it really does look like a crossbow which is something I really got to give the set props for. There's also these thrusters at the bottom which I didn't really talk about but they use castle pieces in light bluish gray no just regular gray and I really like the way they look those look so good and then on the back you can just see that they've got some thruster turbo engines right there. So yeah, there is one other feature of the set, and that is the front. So if the front looks cool, and there's like these like flaps flood flooding out of the front, they're for a reason. It's because this front turns into an escape pod, and it just slides out. So maybe your little squire bot can like come up and then jump into the cockpit with Aaron. But yeah, this is super cool. And it's like one of those features that, you know, you don't really think about, but in like when the build's all together, it looks perfectly fine. But I love that they've included something like that. That's one of, again, one of the main reasons I love Next Nights. They just include so many different play features that when you're a kid, it's just fun to play with them. So yeah, it doesn't slide out the easiest, but still all the same, it slides out. So that's really cool. And it makes this set really feel like there's two main play features, not just the cool loading gun action, like, the, like an actual gun, but you also have an escape pod, which is really cool. Like in most Next Night sets, you get two instruction books, the smaller one, of course, being the one with majority of the minifigures, then in this one you also have an ad for Legoland, as well as just where to watch Lego, uh, Lego Next Nights, which is pretty cool. And it also has a Season 2 uh, picture right there, which is pretty cool. And then you got the bigger, thicker one, which has majority of the actual build, as well as more Year 2 ads. So you got just the Scurrier. And then a year two ad, which I really like. So on the left, you can see Jester's Volcano Lair, which is, again, one of my favorite Lego sets. Macy's Thunder Raider, um, or like Mace thing, I don't remember the real name of it, but that's a cool set. Uh, General Magmar Siege Machine of Doom is a really good one, as well as Axel's Tower Carrier, and then you also have the Fortrex in the back. 
Movie 9, you can just see the minifigures. They have most of the mini... I think these are all minifigures from Season 2 of Next Night. So you just got over here, you got Burnsy. Really like Burnsy. Great, great minifigure. As well as a lot of just regular ones. I love Flama, love General Magmar. Oh, I love the Bookkeeper. These are all great minifigures. And then majority of the knights, but with some cooler, different weapons. And then some the rest of the Ultra Armor knights. But yeah, that's it for the ads. So... Overall, what do I think of this set? Well, I think you guys already know. I really enjoy this set. This set is super cool. And when it first came out, I sort of was just like, oh, great, another night vehicle. But this night vehicle really, to me, stands apart from the rest with the little escape pod, which they don't really have any other next night sets, to my knowledge right now, that have something that like integrated that well that can just come out like that. But again, the main part of this is just like the whole gun feature. That's really fun. And it really is something that I remember liking playing with my friends. So yeah, I really like this set. The minifigures, however, I think could have been better. It is a $30 set and you really only get two minifigures being the Ash Attacker and Aaron. But at saying that, Ash Attacker is really like a really beefed up Ash Attacker with some wings and a cool crossbow. And then Aaron, of course, has all of his armor. I mean, you also get the spider. I mean, not the spider bot, the squire bot. So yeah, overall, I'd rate this set an A-. minus. This set's really great. I really have no complaints about it. Just besides, I wish that there was maybe one other bad guy or maybe like a scurrier or like Globlin. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. And remember to like, comment, and share the video. Bye!